Just a uh, short comparison video, um, given a comparison of uh, a Duracell battery versus the new Zero Point Energy battery. So I'll go ahead and uh, test the uh, Zero Point Energy battery. Go ahead and put the leads on it right here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's about 0 0.31 volts. I'll put the backlight on here so you can see it. Right now, the Duracell battery is putting out about uh, 0 0.931 volts. And this battery is slightly used. Most Duracell batteries are about a voltage or so. So I'll go ahead and uh, connect the um, zero point energy battery right here, put the leads on. And the zero point energy battery is giving me about 9.53. I'll go ahead and uh, light the background there for you. Uh, let me connect these a little bit better. There we go. Now the ZPE battery, as soon as I can uh, properly connect these, it's not easy to do this. I'm doing this basically with one hand. There we go. Okay. Now the ZPE battery is putting out a steady voltage, as you can see, of about 0.951 volts. Okay. The ZPE battery is putting out a steady uh, current voltage of about 0.9 nine five zero and remember this is all being done with one hand it's um it's just pretty uh it's just a simple comparison here basically of um you know the Jewish cell battery and the um c p e battery but the best thing not bad for one hand huh anyway the best thing about this battery right here if you compare it to a Jewish cell is basically a Jewish cell battery once they run out they die you know they they pretty much you throw them away and that's it or you can recharge with a rechargeable battery, you can rechargeable. Any rechargeable battery would also die over time too. But the best thing about this battery is that you just add water and it could theoretically run for years. Um, as we know from Hans' research, um, the best battery he's built has been running for eight months. And um, I still only have a little bit of water in here. As you can see, it's not leaking or anything. I have an aluminum base, if you can look clearly here. You see the base is aluminum. And the water is still not falling out. So, um, once again, the comparison between a Duracell battery and this battery right here is basically this one just keeps going. It basically just keeps going and going. And you just add water, and you could theoretically have this for years on hand. And it didn't cost much to build this, probably around, um, you know, you could probably build it for around between $5 and $10. And uh, if you think about it, you probably pay, you know, a bunch of money using a Duracell battery. You probably go through maybe twenty dollars in Jewish cell batteries a year and uh, this thing was probably still you know keep running for years on hand you just add water and that's the good thing about this so anyway uh, once again thank you for watching and wish you all a wonderful day